as it is. No, I'm not. Hi, good evening from London, England, or good morning or good afternoon, wherever you're watching around the world. Um, I don't know why this is blurry. Spare me. Whoops, too much light. Well, it is what it is, I suppose. Right, um, got some context to get through. Um, club captain of Arsenal, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, is um, edging close to signing a new three-year deal worth an estimated £300,000 per week. Yeah, you heard me. £300,000 per week, £1.2 million a month. I know. Moving on to the next news, US billionaire buys um, Roma f for an estimated £532 million. Pounds. Wow, that's a lot of money to buy Roma. Well, I'll get on to Roma shortly. And last bit of news is um, ex-Tottenham Hotspur and club legend Ledley King has um, been appointed first team assistant coach at the club. So, um, good luck to Ledley King in that one. Mr. Tottenham, over 320 odd appearances. So, it'll be a new challenge now that he's stepping into the world of coaching. Football coaching, should I say. The world of football coaching. So, let me just start off with um, the US billionaire who's unknown. He's um, bought um, Roma for £532 million. Pounds. Now, Roma, who are signing um, Pedro, although he's injured, although, although he's injured, he's had a successful um, soldier injury. All right, let's stroll back here. Spare me a minute. Ah, it's gone. Well, never mind. It's not on the BBC Interactive. I thought it was. <clears throat> so, um, excuse me. Uh, so, um, Roma, um, have been bought by this um, billionaire. Um, he goes by the name of Fried King. Um, he's had um, businesses in. Um, not in sport, but he had businesses in um, oh, industrial estates, cars, and um, I think he, I think it was entertainment. Um, I'm not too sure exactly what he was doing. I read it earlier, but they've taken it off for some reason. So, oh well. But what I can say is um, he's unknown. But he could transfer. He can transform Roma into a title contenders, into title well, into title winning material. Well, he can. Well, he could. Sorry, he could transfer um, Roma into title contenders and competing in European Champions League football. So um, I would love to hear Roma fans um, viewing this. Whether he intends to make Roma a powerhouse in the Italian Serie A and um, would he be the um, guy that will put his um, heart and effort into making sure Juventus are knocked off their perch um, well the main thing is is to employ a manager that will give him the opportunity and time to um, embed his um, philosophy. And if they're happy with the management they have presently, then only then he's got to back his manager. And um, whatever funds possible we can provide for him, then he has to back his manage manager for that simple fact of him doing his job effectively. So... Um, Time will tell on Roma. They've recently had Chris Smalling and Henrik Mkhitaryan on loan from Man United and Arsenal, respectively. They've signed Pedro on a two-year deal. 
that I do know. And um, <clears throat> they're an outfit that um, attractable to many are good players. And I just hope um, it all goes well in the new era by fried kid by the fried kid fa um by the fried ken family so we'll see how that um pans out moving on to other news ex tottenham hotspur and club legend Ledley king has been appointed first team assistant coach at the club well they'll be working alongside Mourinho, and i'm going to read a bit of it here this one's on the bbc interactive so bear with me as it says in the title king made first team assistant at spurs Club legend Ledley King has been appointed as assist, um, as first team assistant at Tottenham. Former captain King, 39, same age as me, wow, made 323 appearances before retiring in 2012. He has tremendous affinity with this with this club fan with the with this club. Fans appreciate how much he ac um, accomplished as a true Spurs man on and off the pitch. Said manager Jose Mourinho. We have developed a relationship and we hope to use his experience and insight. Well, one thing for sure, that is a um, a guy who knows Tottenham in and out. He's Tottenham through and through, played for the club, captain the club. And for me, that's um, a welcome addition on board for Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. And I think that's a welcome on board for the managers, the management, should I say, the players and the most of all, the fans. So Tottenham Hotspur fans, how delighted are you with Ledley King um, working as your first team assistant coach? Um, just drop it in my comment section below and let's have a conversation. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to be extra delighted. Tottenham fans, wherever you are watching around the world, if you're around the world, I'll be having a conversation with you. Just leave it in my comment section below. Right, moving on to the other side of North London. And this is a happy, this could be a happy ending for us Arsenal fans, the football club, the management and the players. That Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, our club captain, is closer, edging closer and closer to signing a three-year deal. Estimated wages is about 300000 a week. Well, he's done his job since he signed in January 2017. And um, for me, or was it 20, January 2018? In fact, Arsenal fans, here's one for the trivia. When did we sign Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang? In what year and month did we sign Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang? Drop it in my comment section below. But since he's been with the club, over he's the fastest Arsenal striker to get 50 goals. Got the club captaincy under Emery, which which some would say controversial, and others will say rightfully so. But I've never been a fan of um, the captain as a striker. I've always been a fan of a captain from the back, and we haven't had one since um, Tony Adams. But you know, it don't go without show that um, Abamyang's work rate has improved a hell of a lot since Arteta took over under Wenger, under. Emery, under Yimbe, they haven't really um, pushed him hard enough to work hard off the ball. And he has worked hard off the ball. And the goals he's got this season, 29 in all competition, 22 Premier League goals. I mean, the guy will get you 20 plus Premier League goals every season. And rightfully so, he is our only world-class striker and the world-class player. The only one that comes close to him is Nicolas Pepe. And that guy needs a pre-season performances to get up to scratch with the Premier League. And he'll come close to Aubameyang. And our club captain has been, well, a magnificent breath of fresh air. I mean, he made up for the Europa League um, final performances to win us the FA Cup against last Saturday's um, team that this smashed, this mantled us at the Europa League. And... What a performance by him. A 9.5 out of 10 I gave him my player ratings. If you're watching my player ratings, um, remind me how many... Uh, um, ah! Remind... Sorry. I do apologise. Remind me um, how I marked him out of 10. Was it 9.5? I think it was 9.5. Remind me. 
However, if if Pierre Aubameyang, if Pierre Emerick Aubameyang wants to sign for another three years, and I'll welcome that on board, despite the fact that Arsenal have um, or on the verge of making fifty five members of staff redundant. But this is a bit of great. This is more than a bit of great news. This is fantastic news for the football club, for the players, the management, and the fans that we've got him for three more years. Hopefully, he'll give us two more years out of the three. And if he wants to leave, then we'll understand because he's done so much for us. The goals he's got per game. I mean, wow! How many games has he had, and how many goals for Arsenal? Twenty nine in all competition, you know. And remember, 22 of them came in the Premier League and he only fell short to the golden boot that was won by Jamie Vardy. So, well, that just tells you the nature of the striker we've got. So, I'm going to end this. This is, the last of my, um, this is the last of my videos. So, to the ladies, to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls, once again, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching and putting up with me. I'll be back um, tomorrow morning and afternoon. And um, sadly, I will not be filming because I'm going away to Germany, Berlin. But maybe Saturday morning in my hotel apartment, I'll be doing my live recording. And speaking of which, I just re remembered I need my selfie. So <laughs> my selfie stick. <laughs> so peace again, love again and bless again. Keep supporting, keep showing me love. And um, remember... Anything that, you, anything that you want to talk about in terms of the context I was speaking about earlier, drop, my, drop me a comment. Drop me your views or an opinion in my comment section below. Do smash the thumbs up like button abundantly and less of the thumbs down. And remember, subscribe to my channel, yeah? Which is me, myself, and I only. DLG Repping. Yeah? Smash that subscribe button hard passionately left right and center galore the more subscribers the more the channel can grow and if i can get the 958 subscribers sooner rather than later then i look forward to the first of many many streams with you football fans around the world so once again i'm gonna wrap this up and say have a good night have a good evening and do rest well. Take care. Latest.